It's been a while since I've done this. Um, just wanted to throw a vlog out there, a video blog, show you people what I've been doing. Um, pretty much the only people who watch this are Delano's folks, so uh, this will be in towards you for the most part. Um, so I'm just going to show you around our winery real quick. It's small. You'll enjoy it though, I think. Here's what we look like. This is the front of our building. Big and grand, of course. Not much going on. You can see we've got a couple of grapevines growing. Uh, it is winter, so of course they're dead. Um, nothing special. Cool sign. As you can see, we've kind of got an old world theme going on in here. Um, here's our full line of wines. Our Inwood Estate wines. And then our Segundo line. Segundo line, I'm sorry. I always pr mispronounce that. It's another estate wine. And then the Vineyard at Florence wines. I also make those. I made the entire 2010 vintage for both wineries this year. Um, I think I'm doing pretty well. As we walk into the winery here, we've got the barrels. Um, this is about half of what was here when I got here. I've been bottling and bottling and bottling. I've bottled up tons of wine. Uh, real small facility, uh, but we make it work. These tanks are strictly for bottling. These guys here are four barrel tanks. And we've got two barrel tanks and single barrel tanks. Um, barrel being 60 gallons. I have the lights off in here. That's probably going to look horrible on film, but anyway. Um, this here is our tasting room. Um, nice little space. Uh, kind of messy. I've been working today. Equipment, of course. Nothing special. Um, wine collection. A couple hundred thousand dollars worth of good wine. And our souvenir glasses. You probably can't see that. There you go. Inner Estates Vineyards. Um, I've been really enjoying myself. I miss Delano's a lot. Um, I wouldn't change that for the world. Uh, to be honest, I have a lot more fun working there than I do here. But I'm doing what I love and I'm, I'm more passionate about this work. Even though I have a, a strong passion for coffee, I am six months in and I can already see myself doing this for the rest of my life. Um, my winery should be opening up in 10 to 15 years, so keep your eye out for Providence Hill Vineyards. Um, I'm going to be planting my first grapes, hopefully uh, a year from April, so April 2012. Um, so I'm starting small, one or two acres of vineyards, but I need to raise some money first. I, it's going to cost me about 20 grand. Um, but yeah, keep your eye out. My day basically consists of this. Uh, tending barrels, drinking wine, blending wine, bottling wine. Um, it's just a lot of fun, although I'm by myself. This location that I've shown you today is mine. I am the winemaker. I, I run this place. Um, they are winemaker slash proprietor Dan, he uh, runs our other winery down south. That's a, a lot more flashy. This is really a utilitarian spot with a tasting room. Um, that is more, uh, well it's utilitarian as well, but it's a lot more fancy for uh, having your good wine tasting and bringing people in and showing them around. It's a lot bigger, holds a lot more barrels. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of walk you through this here real quick. This here these three stacks. That's 2006. 2007 is the vintage we're on now, but we have a little bit left over of 2006 that we use to uh, blend like 1% in. It, it just helps with the complexity. Um, and we're still working on Magellan, which is a 2006 vintage that we are bottling now. The From here through these up here, that's all 08 in all the tanks. That's all 08. We, those are full. We're settling, setting up to bottle the 08. 
these two stacks are 09 and we have four more stacks of 09 in our, at our other winery and of course the barrels of the four are all empty here um, there's a lot to do 2010 is not in barrels yet it will be within the next six months um, barrels are expensive they're about a thousand dollars a piece and we're gonna need probably 200 of them this year so it's a slow process and buying them piece by piece but yeah this is what I do you can see I just kind of sit around relax and drink wine cheers <laughs>